we're going to make the most incredible chocolate brownie. Yes! Who doesn't love a beautiful, delicious chocolate brownie? I want to show you a perfect one. No flavouring, no nuts, no fruit, just chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. It's going to be crisp and it's going to puff up and then it's going to crack. It's going to be gooey in the middle. It's going to blow your mind. First up, chocolate. Come and have a little look at this. This is beautiful, 70% cocoa solid chocolate. 70% means the amount of cocoa solids in the chocolate. It will taste a little bit bitter when you eat it like this, right? But when you mix it with butter and sugar and all the other ingredients, it's gonna be amazing. So 250 grams of chocolate goes in a bowl. I've got a pan simmering very gently. Put that over the top. Then I've got 250 grams of butter. Try and get the best one you can because the best butter, the best chocolate makes the best brownie. So if you're gonna make brownie, it's a wonderful treat, but if you're gonna do it, do it properly. Do it really, really well. Dice up the butter and get it into the bowl. And just very gently, we wanna melt that down. Gently, gently. Next up, the sugar and the eggs. Four eggs into a bowl. Lovely free range organic eggs is gonna give you a better product. 250 grams of golden caster sugar. And whisk up the eggs and the sugar until the sugar's fully dissolved. As you beat it, it goes pale, fluffy, and light, and that will be your texture. And it will also give you the crispiest little topping for your brownie. And if you want the recipe for this, just click the link, go over to jamieoliver.com. I've got this recipe and thousands of others. Go and fill your boots. And then it comes to the flour part. Two heaped tablespoons of self-raising flour. By using the little sieve, you're allowing the flour to be as light and as delicate as it can be. Two heaped tablespoons of quality cocoa powder. Use the whisk now, fold it, don't beat it. If I just sit there and beat it, then we lose all the air that we put into the eggs. The chocolate is almost done. And a lovely little tip, right? Just get a pinch of salt and season your chocolate. It sounds weird, but it makes all the difference. It opens up your taste buds. It allows you to taste the full flavor of the chocolate. And it genuinely really does make a difference. I got given that tip like 25 years ago from this incredible French chocolatier. And I've always done it since, and it works. And then we're gonna go in with every last bit of it. Look at that, look at the color, look at the shine. Back to the folding. Have a look at that. We've still got air in there. And of course, at this point, you can lick the whisk. It's filthy, but who wouldn't? I've got myself a lovely cake mold. And then we're gonna go in with that amazing brownie. Every last bit of it. Move it around, get it into the corners. Look at that, chocolate heaven. And I've put it into one of my tins here. If you wanna check out my lovely range of bakeware, check it out, there's a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes, beautiful color. Now I'm gonna put this in an oven, on fan at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit, and close the door gently, and that's gonna be amazing. It will take about half an hour to cook, but I will show you exactly what I'm looking for for the perfect brownie, because it looks like you've got to slightly undercook it, but you've gotta have the faith, trust me. Look at that, that's just under 30 minutes. And you can see it's puffed up, right? It's gone really crisp on the outside. And if you just shake it, can you see that wobble, right? So I do want it cooked on the outside, I want it slightly under in the middle. And I just wanna let that cool down for about 15 minutes before you even think about eating it. Hold yourself back, don't go in. Let it cool down and then you're gonna get more flavor and you're gonna get more texture. It's gonna be amazing. Let's get into there, let's have a look at the texture. I love the way that when you cut through it, look, that's what you want. Ooziness. You can see that the top is almost sharding, it's cracking. Oh. Guys, 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 come and see that. Yes. So this is what I want for you, right? It's really crisp and delicate and thin on the top. It's kind of spongy around the outside here, and then in the middle, it's oozy and gorgeous and unctuous and chocolatey, and the chocolate will taste different because of that cooking, right? So that is good, we like that. A nice little scoop of vanilla ice cream, some hazelnuts, chocolate, hazelnuts, vanilla ice cream, come on, you know it makes sense. And then what we love to do in the restaurants is popcorn. Of course, that little bit of heat from the brownie is gonna start to melt the ice cream really, really nice. Right, enough talking. Let's get a nice small spoon and let's have a little try up. <sighs> mm. That is a very agreeable brownie. It's really good. Guys, go on. That's what you gotta do this weekend or today. 
and enjoy. Take care. Mm.